Hey, what's happening guys? We are back with another common circuits you should know. And in this case, the circuit we're talking about is a current mirror. And this is a simple circuit that uses a resistor and two transistors. And we set the current on the first transistor, the old call it the input transistor Q1, with a bias resistor and Q2, we'll call it the output transistor, will follow that current, it will mirror that current, and they will be the same, or close enough to it for government work. So before we hook that up and play with it, let me draw the circuit for you right quick. So we start off here, this is Q1. And this is Q2. I'm using 2N2222 transistors, your basic NPN transistors. Nothing special there, right? Right. Our first transistor is biased on the collector. with a resistor, R1, and the emitter goes directly to ground. The emitter of Q2 also goes directly to ground, and their bases are tied together. Now in place of R1 on Q2 is where we put our load. Are you with me so far? Good. Now we simply need to bias the base. And we do that from Q1 just like that. So if we have IC1, IC2, IE2, IE1, IB1, <laughs> and IB2. Because we are controlling the total flow of current through Q1 with R1 and also using R1 to bias both of our transistors, then it cannot pull any more current through our load. So what is going to happen is IE1 is going to equal IE2 because IB1 equals IB2. The math there is pretty simple. Let me show it to you in action now. So here's Q1 and it is set up emitter base collector. Here's that R1 coming from VCC across this purple jumper into the collector. And then we have a jumper between the collector and the base, which is biasing that transistor. Now, at the moment, it's not hooked up there so we can measure the current. Let's take a swing over here and have a look. And there is our power supply, giving it seven volts. And you can see right now, there's no current flowing. And that's because it's not hooked up at the collector. So we will bring in a meter and we'll set it to milliamps we'll hook it up here this is a 1k 
resistor, by the way. And what you're seeing there is about 6.3 milliamps. And if we look at the power supply, it's shown five, you know, close enough. Nothing here is that exact because nothing in the real world is that exact. So, just remember that number. Let's just call it six milliamps. I'm going to disconnect that. And then I'm just going to bring this over here and hook it up. So now that we have current flowing, and if you look there, you can see we're back at our five milliamps. Okay. So we're going to use LEDs for our variable load. We'll start off with one LED, which goes between VCC and the collector. Oopsies. Trying to short things out there, Polly. There we are at about our six milliamps. Now I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to vary our load by adding another LED in series with the first one. Then we'll hook them up and you can see we are still at about six milliamps. And if we add in yet another this breadboard is one of them cheap Chinese ones not so great there's three and you see we've dropped maybe a half of a milliamp but it's never going to draw more than that six milliamps because that current is limited by that resistor over here and that little jumper right right there that is limiting the current regardless of the load nothing is going to change and that my friends is the current mirror a very simple very common circuit that you should know and now you do so if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe while you're at it Go down below and check out the t-shirts that I have in my Teespring store. They're geeky, but you wouldn't be here if you didn't like geeky, right? Right. Alright, that's it. I'm out. Peace.